This is the homework for Lesson 28, Module 4 of Grade 1. Put your name here first. <clears throat> now we're solving using quick tens and ones, number bonds, or the arrowway. So we're going to be writing some equations probably, but uh, we're just it's up to us which method we want to choose. And uh, just look at the numbers first. Uh, one of the things we're going to really concentrate on in this is to look at the ones digits first and see that that will usually tell us um, that will usually tell us whether we're going to be um, what, what strategy we're going to use and I'll just I'll talk about it as I go through each one so I'm looking at this one uh, for a and I see three and six now that makes nine so that's not it's not going to be it that's less than ten so strategy of <clears throat> The strategy of making 10 is not going to be that great. It's going to be better probably to just take this, and then it doesn't matter at this point whether we add the 1s or the 10s first. And then add 10 to the 19. Fifteen and sixteen. Now this five and six, those add up to eleven. I'm gonna draw quick tens for this one. Because I'm gonna have that's gonna make that when I add the ones together, it's gonna make more than another ten. So this is a strategy that could be good for that. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, sixteen. All right, so that's a ten, and I have ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-one. Write it thirty plus one, thirty-one. Here's a way, an example of uh, when the arrowway might be a good one for you. You might be looking at this sixteen plus sixteen and thinking, well, I see 6 plus 6 there, and I'm pretty good at my doubles, if you are. And I know what 6 plus 6 is, so start with that. Here's how you write it the arrow way. And now you're adding the two tens. just like that 26 plus 12 I'm looking at this the ones digits and that 6 and that 2 that comes out to 8 that's going to be less than 10 so this 12 would be actually that 12 is going to be really easy to draw so let's do 26 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then the 12 has 7 8 right there's the 12 so I have two tens and an eight, right? That's 20 plus eight. Could do the same thing here, 22 plus 17. So I could start with Instead of doing a number bond, I'm going to draw it in quick tens. 22. And then 17 has seven ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a 10. So then we're looking at this. That's three tens. 30 plus nine ones. 39. And 17 plus 15. Now, I'm going to use Arrowway for an example here because really, you can use Arrowway to, to do uh, to do a lot of weird mental math. And if you look at this and you, maybe you think, oh, I know what 15 plus 15 is. That's 30. And 17 is two more, so that'll make it 32. Well, this is how you write it down the Arrowway.
just like that. You don't have to use the arrow way like I did. There's lots of other ways you could write it the arrow way. Uh, you could just you could just as easily see that 17. You could, I mean that's one way to do it the arrow way. You could also it's just a way to write down the mental steps. Now suppose you looked at the 17 and you wanted to add 3 to get to 20. And now you need 12, right? To add to the 20 because that's what's left of the 15. So that you're going to add 10 more, 30, and then 2 more, 32. That's just another way. There's lots of different ways airway can be used. It's just a way to write down the mental steps that you, that you go through to do it in your head. And everybody has a different way to do things in their head. So it can come out a lot of different looking ways. Um, 17 plus 16. Now, 17 plus 16. All right, let's make this. Let's use number bonds for this. 10 and 6. And I'm going to add the 10 first. And then I can count up the 6 from the 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And then we have 18 plus 17. Uh, let's see. We just did 17 plus 16. 18 is two more. I could use what I just learned from that. And I could do this. I could use the arrow way for this and say, well, I know 17 plus 16 is 33 and then add two more, 35. You could do it like that. That's a neat little shortcut. If you notice those, how some of these uh, setups go into each other, because here's 17 plus 15 up here, and then here's 17 plus 16, and now here's 17 plus 18 plus 17. And it's more of the same on the second page, 24 plus 13. Let's make this 10 and 3. 24 plus 10, 34. 34 plus 3, 37. 15 plus 24. Split up the smaller number. 24 plus 5, see the 4 and the 5, 29, and then just add 10, 29 plus 10, 39, 19 plus 16, this is one where that 19, you might be making the next 10 to add because 19 is really close to 20, so let's make this 1 and 15. So it's 19 plus 1 first to get the 20, and then, right, and then now add the 15. 20 plus 15, 35. 14 plus 22. Now, let's see, I haven't drawn anything. I haven't done any quick tens right now, so that's what I'm going to do next. Just for variety. If you want to keep using the number bonds, go ahead and use them. That's fine. Or arrow ways working for you. Keep using arrow way, but I'm just trying to show all the different methods. One, two, three, four. And then the 22 is going to have two ones and two tens. So we have three tens for 30 
plus six ones gives us 36. And 27 plus 12, here's one where 10 and two, 27 plus two, 29, 29 plus 10, 39. 28 plus 12, here's one where we're gonna to want to add the ones first. Forty. Eighteen plus seventeen. We could draw this one. It's going to be a bit of work, but we could do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we need seven ones for the seventeen, right? Two of them are going to go on this ten stick here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then. There's the 10 for the 17. So we have three tens and one, two, three, four, five ones. 30 plus five. And 19 plus 18. We can do, why don't we try making this one and 17. And then we can just 19 plus 1 equals 20. 20 plus, that's not 26, it's 20. Let me fix that. And 20 plus 17 equals 37. 37. 